Hello, Danny. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I am fine, thank you. And you? I'm doing great. <laughs> what did you do today? Um, I I do some homework that I have. Mm, how do you say retrasada? <laughs> I was delayed on, delayed on. Delayed on. Mm -hmm. Yes, that. I do that. <laughs> you, was, you were delayed, you were laid on that. Okay. About what? What was the homework about? It's about a course that I take for telemarketing. So, like how to greet in the customer and stuff like that. How to greet the customer? Yeah. Okay. Like the intonation and all that. In English or in Spanish? In Spanish. Oh, really? Are you working? Yeah. No. It's for... I take that course for... Try to get that work. <laughs> a joke. Okay. Wow. Fast and furious. Okay. <laughs> okay, to try. Okay, to try. Not for try, but to try. And repeat, course. Danny? Course. Course, 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 course. There you go, like that. Course, course, like that course. If you say course, is maldición. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay, oh, yeah. I try to make that course, not course, course, course. Okay. okay, good. Thank you. What else did you do? Um, only that. Oh, I made, I made the lunch. Okay. That sounds better. I prepare. I prepare. Lunch. Okay. You say the lunch if it is a very important lunch that you have. Mm. The lunch, the dinner, because you're celebrating something. Okay. Mm. Okay. Good, good, good. Elvis, good evening. Good evening. How's it going? Um, good. Good? Okay. How good is it good. going? Yes. What did you do today? Mm, I, I worked and I went to the <clears throat> celebrate my birthday with my family to celebrate your birthday yes oh my god congratulations yes, happy birthday wow thank you everybody one two three happy birthday to Ooh. you <laughs> happy birthday to you Happy birthday, dear Elvis. Elvis. Happy Elvis. birthday to Elvis. you. Happy birthday, Elvis. Thank you. Hey, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, teacher, for all. Can, can we ask how many years? Uh, yes, 40. 40? 40 years. Uh, I'm getting close yes. there. I'm getting yes. close. Yeah, <laughs> we're in the 40s, okay. Yes. We better start doing yes, diet, yes. exercising, eating healthy. Yes. If we want to reach yes. the 60. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you, Elvis, for joining <laughs> Thank us. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Um, okay. Violeta, you were next. 
on the class. How are you? I'm fine, but a little bit confused with the midterm. Oh, don't worry. We will go part by part with the midterm. We are just missing two, um, um, two more topics and that's it. So if you want, guys, let's go ahead and cover these topics and then we go part by part with the midterm practice in each part. I think that will be very useful. So the, the we're missing two topics. Maybe I shall try that, which is a conversation and then by plus gerund, by plus gerund. Let me mute this thing. Okay, there we go. So let's see this video. Let's watch it really quick. It's a conversation. So please pay attention. We, I will make you questions on the second part of the audio. It's a conversation among two people, okay? might be stressful, but you could improve by listening. Hello, sometimes learning a language might be stressful, but you could improve by listening to music or by watching movies. Let's pay attention to the advice given and the following conversation. They might work for you too. So, how's your French class going? Not bad, but I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. Well, it takes a while to get it right. You could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. That's a good idea. But how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. I learn new English words best by writing them on pieces of paper and sticking them on things in my room. I look at them every night before I go to sleep. Hmm, maybe I should try something like that. First question, what is the method that Kelly is uh, getting from one you. Um, it put a stick note in the things in him him room. Okay, putting sticky notes, putting sticky notes to everything in his room on things on my, in my room. Okay. What else? <clears throat> he is uh, speaking. He is studying French. There... Uh, no, I'm sorry. He is, <laughs> is under is studying French. They're studying French. Okay. What, what else does one you request? Uh, suggests to Kelly. Listen, listen CDs. Listening to language CDs. Listening to language CDs. Very good. Okay. Now the question, how can you improve your learning of another language? Listen, you can improve your learning of another language by Ooh by listening to language CDs or by writing words on pieces of paper. By writing, by listening, hmm. by speaking with someone else. Okay, so that was the first part, how to, to get better, improve on your learning of another language. Let's listen to the second part of the audio. Listen to two other people explain how they learn new words in a foreign language. What techniques do they use? 1. I keep a record of new words I come across. Then I make up study cards. I write the word on one side of the card and the meaning on the other side. Oh, and I always include at least one sentence with a word in it. Then I go through the cards whenever I have some spare time like when I'm waiting for my laundry to dry or on the bus, and study the words until I know them by heart. Every week or so, I organize the cards into categories. You know, I put all the words together that have to do with food or work or home or school. 
whatever I can find that my new words have in common. Okay, what was the first method suggested by the speaker? He advised to write the words in, in card notes and find the definition and write some examples mm -hmm. in the other side of the cardboard. Yeah, that's a great idea, actually. If you have some little you know, papers that you can write um, a word on and then you just turn it around and you will see the meaning, right? But also a sentence containing this new word. Now, when do you review these notes or do you just write them and, or do he, you check? He has the, he has the cardboards with them, with him. And while he's waiting for, for the car washing, oh, no, no. he Laundry. was reading the, mm -hmm. he read the, 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 the cards. And wow. at the end of the week, he organized the, the, the cards mm -hmm. uh, alphabetically. I think I know no by 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 topic. I I don't know <laughs> by topics. <laughs> yes, by topics. Now repeat. Uh, he organizes. He organizes. Yes, he organizes them by topic. Good job. Very good, Violeta. Okay. So, if you notice, there's a lot of models used here. Like I should, right? Sometimes they use I should to suggest. Okay, now let's listen to another method, I guess. Let's listen to the third part. Two, I keep a vocabulary notebook. It's organized alphabetically. Whenever I hear or read a new word, I write it down. Then when I have time, I look it up in my dictionary. Then I put down some key information about the word. You know, whether it's a noun or a verb, and some examples of how it's used. I go through the notebook and study the words as often as I can. I really believe that the only way to learn new words, even in your own language, is by memorizing them. Okay, what was that method? Someone else? A Max? Vocabulary notebook. Vocabulary notebook, yes, Daniela. So how does it work? To write the words that you don't know and write the meaning for an example. Mm -hmm. And you preview. And you check it, huh? You review it? You review it when you can. From time to time. She reviewed the dictionary uh, word by word, uh, word by word, and the different topics. Mm -hmm. Excellent, mm -hmm. very good. So it's a notebook in this case, but I like what she mentioned that she identifies if it is a verb or if it is a noun. Hmm. Nouns, verbs. That's right. So that's very important, guys. I like this topic. Okay. Good, what else, what else, what else? I think that's all, okay. Which techniques do they use in the conversation? Go ahead and type them on a discussion box. Okay, so you're to repeat what they said about the techniques yeah. to study. Okay, so to move on with the class, because we, we have one hour, we just started, but uh, we still have- How do you learn? At least 15 minutes before we go into um, before we go into the midterm. So let's look at the last topic of unit three, section three, is uh, using by plus a gerund, which is related to the audio. I will send you the pictures in a minute, okay? Let's see. Welcome. This time we'll talk about by plus gerund and its three uses. Number one, to say how something can be done. Number two, 
to describe how something was done, and number three, to describe how something could be done. Remember, you could improve your grammar by taking notes. Page 53, Exercise 9, Grammar Focus. By plus gerund to describe how to do things. You could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. I learn new words best by writing them on pieces of paper and sticking them on things. The best way to learn slang is not by reading newspapers, but by watching movies. Okay, what do you have to say about this? What do you have to, to say? So we use by plus a gerund verb, okay? To describe how to do something. How to do things, okay? So the first example say uh, says, you could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. I learn new words best by writing them on pieces of paper and sticking them on things. And the last one, the best way to learn slang is not by reading newspapers, but by watching movies. What do you think? Can you give me other examples? You could improve your vocabulary by watching the captions for the videos, on the videos. Cap captions. Cap captions. 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 Better. When the people uh, listen languages by CDs, uh, the, the person improves the accent. Improves and, the accent. Uh -huh. and, and then watching movies is the other way to improve the language, not reading book, not reading um, newspapers. I think, but I, in my case, I read newspapers sometimes, and I watching movies. I watch. I movies. think that the two the two ways are are, are good. I think both. Re repeat. Both. I think both, both ways, both, both ways were good. Both okay. ways are good. Are good. We're good. Okay. Perfect. Good, Madeline. Great job. Okay. So can you give me your own examples? Uh, Adriana, good evening. Welcome. Okay, good. We can read your lips. We can understand you. By, okay, sorry. <laughs> by reading, by reading your lips. Good. Okay, I learned new words by writing them in postits. Okay, by writing them. So again, by writing them. Writing, writing them. Uh -huh. Write, writing them. Writing them. Cuando tenés una W con una R, se llama the R blended. The R blended. Eh, les enseñaba en su ocasión a, a pronunciar la letra R en inglés. Y decíamos que empezaba todo con una U. Yeah. Y ahora imagínate tener una W antes de una R. So you say writing. Writing. Wrote. 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 Rock. Wrote. Wrote. Rock. Written. Written. Repeat. Yes, let's see. After me. Write, wrote, written. Write, written. wrote, written. Violeta, stop laughing. Yes. Violeta! <laughs> she actually turned off the camera to be able to laugh. I saw you. Because uh, I'm in front of the camera. No, you... Está pensando en el meme del gato, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, good. Hmm. Um, I was watching um, a video on TikTok and I, it was very interesting. It was funny, but at the same time, interesting. God, I'm not typing. Okay. Right. 
right 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 what else was it right 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 no right right same pronunciation Richard, the pronunciation is right right and right okay that's the point you don't say Great, great, right. great. No, you say right, 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 right. Is the second, the second word. These are homophone words. Oh right, yes, right, 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 right. Oh right. yes, thank you. Right, it's like right, the right. Of the woo 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 woo. <laughs> Kind of no, it's a girl. Right. It's a teacher too. <clears throat> and the third word, there right were, too. There were more. I, I think I'm missing one. I can't remember right now. Um, um, right. Phone, the number three. Right, right. No, right. That's something else. Right, right. right. No, okay. it's the other. Is right. Right, right, right. Rito, derecha, escribir, escribir, derecha. Rito. Okay. What is the meaning right? The number three. Rito. Oh, yes. The third one. Madeline? The third, the third one. La tercera, the third one. Yeah, the third one, yes. The, the fourth one. The fifth one. Okay. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, give me your own examples. How can I get underweight? How can I get underweight? I need your advice. You could get overweight by... Under. Underweight by eat healthy. By eating. Eating. That's the point, uh-huh. Oh, uh, with Jerome. Uh -huh. Okay. Good job. Continue, you can eat, you can get underweight by eating healthy, healthy, healthy. by eating healthy, <clears throat> by eating healthier. Okay. So Danny is saying by eating healthier. Uh huh. Another example. Uh, you can get underway by doing exercise excellent mm -hmm. remember that here you have both uh, both options right by doing exercise by running every day by exercising by running every day ah boy okay uh-huh You can get underweight not by eating pizza every day. Oh, but by doing exercise. Good example. By not eating pizza every day, but doing, but exercising, but doing exercise. Okay. Good. And yes, that's the negative. Thank you, Max. By not eating. Mm -hmm. One more. Let's change the topic. Let's say that I'm single. How can I get a couple? I need to hear Elvis um, and whoever is not talking. Uh huh. Yes. How can I get a couple? Yes. Uh, how do you say couple? Uh, what is the what does it mean couple? Um, what is the meaning of couple? You mean pareja? Yes. 
Ah. Yes. Yes, yes I, I get a couple. Mm. Mm. You can get a couple. Four years ago. Uh, you can get four years ago. Mm -hmm. Ok, vamos a enfocarnos en el, en el lenguaje meta, Elvis. A ver. You can get a couple okay. by. Ok, you can get a couple by. A... Y luego es gerundio. By. Um... I don't, I, I don't have idea. Yes, you have no idea. Having topic. a dating? A, da a date. date. Oh. Uh -huh. But having a date or dating. I don't know. Oh, good. You can have a couple by having a date or you can get a couple by dating someone. By dating someone. Okay. Any other example? We are just six, I just can't believe it. I just can't help believe it. Uh-huh. Max? Yeah. You can get a couple by... By going out on Friday night. <laughs> on Friday night, okay. Good. Let's change the topic again. How can I make a million dollars? You can make a million dollars by working hard. By working hard. Mm -hmm. Good. Good example. By, by working hard, uh-huh. Now, Danny, I mean, Elvis, try it. By working hard, by... Winning the lottery. By winning the lottery, okay? By playing the lottery or by winning, uh -huh. let's say by winning. Okay, by winning... The lottery. Lottery, lottery. lottery. Okay. By winning the lottery. Okay. Teacher, and by being a, uh, by being a narco traffic, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but the, but the word being uh, is correct. It's a more easy, easy. Yes. By being a dealer. Well, by being a drug, a drug dealer. You have to be very specific, right? A drug dealer. Okay. That's it. How about by becoming the president? By becoming president? No, by becoming president, not the president. By becoming president. Okay. Questions. So keep in mind, you have by the preposition, then becoming. I mean, by and ing, that's the whole thing how to do something, how to do things. Okay, questions? No, okay, thank you. Very explicit. Violetia, Violetta, okay. Where am I? Okay. This thing is just stuck, hold on. My computer is not responding. Wait for me one second, guys. I don't know what is going on with it. Just one second. Speak to someone from Jamaica. <laughs> from India. <laughs> no, speak like someone from Jamaica. It's someone from Jamaica. Why do you want me to speak like that? <laughs> Very similar. French, you know, this is so weird. My computer is not. Oh, there you go. Okay. Wow. It's just not responding to the website. There you go. Watching movies. There you go. Okay. I think we still have some more in this video. Let's keep watching.
Let's go over each use of by plus gerund. Ready? Number one, to say how something can be done. For example, you can improve your English by doing a lot of reading. Number two, to describe how something was done. Example, I learned a lot of idioms by watching TV. Number three, to describe how something could be done. One way of becoming fluent is by talking a lot in class. You see, one way of becoming fluent is by talking a lot in class. And yes, Daniela, you are right. Okay, to say how something can be done, you can improve. Okay, so how something can be done is what we were practicing. To describe how something was done. I learned a lot of idioms by watching TV. Mm -hmm. Who could help me understanding that in Spanish? Which one? Any. What, one? Ha what happens when you do that, when you add by and then ing? When I was a kid, my mom uh, made me stop crying by singing me a song. Mm -hmm. How would you translate that to Spanish? Violeta, you love Spanish? Love Spanish. <laughs> eh, tú puedes, tú puedes mejorar tu inglés eh, leyendo mucho. Eh, tú puedes aprender muchos idiomas eh, observando, viendo la televisión. Y una forma de eh, hacerte volverte, Ajá. volverte eh, fluido, no fluido, fluido eh, de, 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 de una forma de volverte más fluido es hablar mucho en clase. Como una yo. forma de volverte Perdón. fluido es <risa> hablando mucho, mucho o hablar mucho en clase. Hablando mucho en, en clases. ¿Ah? Así como yo. Y perdón. <risa> yeah, no, that's okay. I, that's okay. Great Teacher, job. In the case of the, of the word idioms, it's not translated, translated like idioma. How do you translate that word? Um, and no, no son anglosajismos, son, oh my God, teachers, tengo como tres teachers acá para mí. We're not subtitles. No, 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 Max is saying that how will you translate the word idioms to, to Spanish? Ah. I learned a lot of idioms by watching. Es que them. los idioms son como um, frases bien propias del idioma, como por ejemplo las nuestras. Ajá, dichos. Sí. Ah, Frases exactly. for everyday use. Yeah, you know the meaning of the word, but I can't translate. Modismos. Modismos. Something like that. Modismos, something like that. that. Yeah, it's something like that, exactly. That's right. Good, you see? A lot of teachers. Es como chucho, no come chucho, y si come, no come mucho. <laughs> Perfect. A clear example. And in English, don't go around the bushes. Yeah. What idioms do you know, guys? I know only, only Salvadorians. <laughs> ah, come on. Stop going around the bushes. Hey, good idea now. <laughs> do it again. I think they didn't see. I'm watching you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> good. Like, okay. Good. Let's finish this video and then we move on to the to the immediate term, okay? Just remember to always use by plus a gerund to describe how to do things. Can you share with us some advice to improve and get better in English? What has worked for you? Type your answers so others may follow your advice. Okay. That's it. So let's move on. After watching this, uh, I guess you already completed exercise 3.10, 3.11, which was a reading. Now let's go with a midterm.
once you click next, you're supposed to get your midterm exam. Let's go with the first one. And this is just listening. Um, let's practice. Let's practice. We still have time. So let's do it. I don't think this is the right restaurant, Augusto. It doesn't look very good. I'm sure this is the one. I know it doesn't look great, but the menu looks interesting. But look, that waiter's wearing a horrible shirt. Clara, maybe he likes bright colors. I don't mean the colors. There's a huge tear in it, and it doesn't look clean. Yeah, actually, I see what you mean. And look at this tablecloth. It's badly stained. It looks like someone spilled coffee all over it. And my glass is chipped. I could cut myself. Let's get out of here. Four. Hello? Hello, Mr. Jones. This is Tina, the new tenant in 2C. Um, the refrigerator makes a loud noise, and it keeps leaking all over the floor. And another thing, the whole apartment needs to be repainted. I don't understand. You didn't point out any of this when you looked at the apartment last week. Well, I didn't notice the refrigerator then because I hadn't turned it on. But I thought you said you would paint the entire apartment before I moved in. Yes, okay. I'll come over right now. I'll kill him. Definitely. <laughs> okay. That's not a good landlord. Oh, my God. Okay. Now, what did, did Clara and Augusto ask for first? I'm not making that question. Clara tells Augusto that's very easy. But what did they ask for first? Or they looked at first? A waiter shirt. Hmm. What's the first thing that you look at when you go to a restaurant? The table. Come on, what is the first thing that you look at at a restaurant? The menu. The menu, very good, the menu. Ah, yeah. the menu. <laughs> okay. Is Who... it clean? <laughs> if, if, if it is very clean, the cleanliness, okay. Make sure that the restaurant is not filthy filthy yeah. who were they talking about who, who was clara criticizing i cannot read well What's <laughs> no it's okay it's okay this is, this is just audio right now madeline this is just audio sorry max he was criticizing criticizing the waiter they were criticizing of the, the way he, he dressed because of his dressing, right? Because of his dressing, the way he looked, the way he looked. Okay. How else can you say criticize? Run down. Good. That's another one. I was thinking about something else. Can you spell that? Like that? Uh, or together? Run. I can't remember if they are together or sorry. I don't think this is down. I don't think this is this goes together. You couldn't join to these. Run, run, like run. Run? Running. Run down. Hmm. Yeah, let go separate it. Run it down. Run down. And that that sounds he like was running down the waiter. Uh huh. Okay. He was running down the waiter. Pointing hmm. at pointing at someone. Okay. Um down talking. Oh, yep. I know another way, but it's not polite. Okay, don't say it. Okay. <laughs> when somebody down talks to you, it's offensive. When somebody tells you like, oh, for example, Max, let's say I you go to the, my shop and I and start and I start. Are you sure you want that milk? The other one is less expensive. Man, that's down talking to someone. Mirarte menos, right? Okay. Down talking. 
Okay. Denigrar. It's another way. Okay. Synonyms, synonyms, synonyms. Very important. Okay. What else do we have? Let's go. And then we have Tina's audio, right? What happened? Um, when did Tina when did Tina see the apartment for the first time? When did she see the, the apartment for the first time? Teacher. Teacher. Yeah. Can we use pick on? Pick on. Oh, pick on someone? Yeah. Yeah, but that's when somebody's uh, doing bullying to someone else. Oh. I can tell you because I don't understand the. Oh, I can we, really. We listen to an audio, a two parts audio. This is the listening part of your um, midterm exam, Madeline. I think you were not on your seat. <laughs> okay, let's finish this. Then we have a second audio so we can practice one more time. Okay, so really quick. Um, what about Tanya? What happened with her apartment? And the refrigerator is at the, the answer. Repeat the refrigerator. Refrigerator. Curator. Refrigerator. Better. Thank you. The refrigerator okay. was was not working. Okay, was malfunctioning. Well, it was malfunctioning. Okay. What else, guys? What else? Um, about the her apartment wasn't painted. It wasn't painted. Beautiful. Great job, Daniela. Yeah, it wasn't painted. Who promised to paint the apartment? Landlord. 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 Very good. Easy, guys. Second. Oh, look at that. There was a problem while playing the audio file. Okay, and now I'm missed up. Okay, hold on. Okay, this one is not good. Just refresh it. Just refresh it. Okay, I'll listen to you. Oh, you Teacher, know what? When you have a problem with your clothes, you use malfunction. A wardrobe malfunction. One. Wait, what? Malfunction. And for example, if you're a woman and your dress tears down, or you get a tear on your dress, mm -hmm. you have a wardrobe malfunction. A wardrobe malfunction, I heard that once, yes. And I agree with you. Okay, let's finish the audio too, and then we move on. One, are you going to buy that can of hairspray? Uh, yeah, Bob, I am. Why? Because those spray cans contain CFCs, which deplete the ozone layer. What does that mean? Well, many scientists think global warming is caused by the destruction of the ozone layer, and that the increase in skin cancer is due to the reduction in ozone. Spray cans cause all that? You must be joking. No, I'm serious. Not using spray cans is just one thing you can do. Another way to preserve the ozone layer is to plant trees. But the best way is to cut down on air pollution by reducing the number of cars. Well, why don't you spend your energy encouraging people to use public transportation instead? Don't worry. I'm working on that, too. Okay. Hmm. What is depleting? Is it a synonym of... Contaminator? Contamination? No, depleting. Please, it's like ah. beg begging. I don't know. Begging? Yeah. Mm. Oh, depleting. Depleting, yes. Oh, it like sounds like de decaying? Getting something empty. Decaying, thank you. Decaying, getting something empty, okay. Reducing. Yeah, very good. The awesome layer. Okay, what is layer? <laughs> I, I know the meaning, but in, in Spanish. Like the cover? Like a cover? A cover. 
perfect. Yes. yes. Okay. It's like a cover. <laughs> Wait, put put Violetta back in. She was dancing. I said, hey, 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 hey. Where's Violetta? I don't see it anymore. Okay, yeah, that's the meaning. Excellently. Okay, so what happened? Um, is he going to do something about it? Is Bob going to do something about it? About the air pollution and all that? He's yes. Working that. He, He's working. He will encourage. Encouraging. Good word. Encouraging people. Enco encouraging. 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 Oh, in, he was in, he was working on encouraging, encourage, encourage. Okay, encouraging. He's working on encouraging other people. Okay, good. And then we have Sonia. Oh, we have the next audio. So hold on. Two. You know, I get so tired of being told not to use my car. I just saw a TV show about global warming, and this man said that people who have cars are selfish. Well, many problems have been caused by pollution from heavy traffic. Yes, but what am I supposed to do? There's only one bus a day to the city where I work, and it leaves at noon. I have to be at work early in the morning. I know how you feel, Sonia, but one thing to do about it is to live closer to where you work. What? Live in all that pollution? No thanks. Wow. What is Sonia's attitude? How would you, how would you describe Sonia's attitude? Wait, I mean... She's selfish. Excellent. She's selfish. I like that. That's what I was thinking too. She's selfish. She's not thinking about some uh, other people, right? The rest of humanity, actually. And what's the problem with Sonia's job? She... Her work is far to the place that she lives. Excellent. Close. She, she, her work is too far away, or is far away, from, from the place where she lives. Her work is too far away from the place where she lives, or from her place. Her place means her house, from her place. Excellent. Okay, guys, let's move on. We only have 13 minutes. The next part says complete the sentences. Complete the sentences, not rewrite the whole sentence. So these glasses have a scratch in the lens. They are what? Oh, they are scratched. They are scratched. They're scratched. Now, I already have a period here. Okay, I already have a period here, so I'm not going to add another period. They are scratched, but if they're using scratched here, hmm, do you think that's the right answer? Oh my God, this is really long. Yeah, don't 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 do that. Just go to part three. Oh, yeah. The problem there. Okay. Does the anybody? Are easy. These are easy. What do you think, guys? Is this easy? But I got a problem with part three, number three and number four. Okay. Wait. Any questions with this section, section B? Dented, no. dented? Just write no. the word. That's you it, just, just the word. Yeah. Actually, no, you, no, nothing. Yeah, you just change the adjective, right, Max? Instead of dented, you say dent. Instead of leak, you say leaking. Instead of crack, it is cracked, cracked. So you play with the gerund, I mean, with the, participle of the verbs okay of the adjectives i'm sorry okay you said part three choose the correct word or phrase this one sorry you had problems no. with this one no the third one part three. part three yeah this is part three choose the correct word or phrase no no 
go back. Oh, you mean part three of this letter B? Okay, so one, two, three. Okay. The careless use of campfires is burning thousands of acres of forest land. Okay, rewrite the sentences using the passive and the prepositions. Okay, you're giving the preposition here, so let me do the first one, okay? No, don't do the first one. Ah. Which one? First one and the second one are doable. Uh, easy, okay. The last one, please, the last one. Yes, the last one. <laughs> okay. Max said that one and two are easy and then the three and four are difficult, I think. Okay, let's do the number four then, okay. Yeah. Disease and famine are causing, it, was that the right pronunciation, Max? I forgot, and famine are causing suffering for famine, poor yeah. people around the world. Okay. What am I, why am I typing? Okay. So poor people. Suffering for poor people. Mm, really? Let's see. No, I don't know, but I, I, I tried many ways and all my, all, all my sentences are wrong. Poor people around the world. I try, like Violeta said, I try poor people. I, I try in a lot of different ways. I I Just put in the last get, one in, in the chat, but I don't know. My I try with have been, has been, is being, are being, and I don't know. I just give up. What? What did I do? Hold on. Okay, that didn't work, right? Okay, per people around the world. Are being suffering. Uh, I think it is the suffering for for poor people. Is the is the object of the sentence. Suffering for poor people around the world. No, 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 it's being caused due to, mm. no, I don't think so. Why is this? I'm pushing other keys. I'm sorry, if I t as I type for some reason, I'm sorry. Her people do to I don't think that's the way. Hmm. I'll have to stop sharing and see what's going on here. Hold on. I'll have to look it's at the very answer. Very tricky. I played that song yesterday. I'm sorry, Vanessa. It's tricky. It's tricky. <laughs> it's tricky, tricky, tricky. Oh my God, wait. Oh, there it is. Okay. You know what? What? This is not passive voice. Poor people around the world are suffering due to disease and famine. 
What was the other one? I can do the first tier and the fourth one. Can get the one of the pro. I don't know why. Number one and fourth. Okay. Copy in the chat, please. <laughs> yeah, I will. I will send you this because this is incorrect. <laughs> the answer, the answer on that, on that one is not passive voice. Let me show you really quick. Here, look at the answer. I'll show you. It says poor people around the world are suffering. But the passive voice states that you need this birth are being suffered, are being hurt maybe due to disease and famine. So that's not passive voice, that's just present progressive and that's it. Okay. Uh, uh what for people around the world? Mm -hmm. For people around the world are suffering due to disease mm -hmm. and famine. So it's, yeah, you know, I was right. It started here for people around the world and then are suffering. You forget about causing. You just say are suffering due to disease and famine. Okay, that's not passive voice for me. Not it, it loses the the structure. Okay. Um, okay, Danny said there was a problem with this other parts. I'll check that and send them to you on the WhatsApp. I have to make sure they are right or incorrect. And then you said, Max, they're on number four, writing sentences again. Choose the from the following options and write an appropriate solution and complete the sentences using infinitive phrases. Infinitive phrases, okay. Number one, and wasteful spending. Walk every day and eat fresh vegetables. So who can give me an example on this one? I got it. You got it? The best way yes. to avoid cancer, the best ways to avoid cancer are? To walk, to walk every day and Eat fresh vegetable. Good. There you go. There's no period there. Let's see if that's the way. I will say yeah. Yeah, totally, Danny. I, I miss the the number four, the last the last one, the poor people. Oh, last, you missed it? I'll send yes, it to you. Okay. I'll send yes. it to you right now. Okay. okay. Teacher, in okay. the part in the part two of this section, I don't I don't get it. A good no. way to spend a rainy weekend is I can solve those ones. Okay. A good way to spend a rainy weekend is not going out and staying home, I guess. Oh, or the opposite, I'm sorry. Will be to stay. Huh, wait a minute. A good way to spend a rainy weekend is to stay home. I will say to stay home and not going out. But by writing by short story. Can, we can use Sorry. by. Yeah, my screen just went blank. So I open another screen. Okay, to so stay home and not going. I'm sorry, what was the answer? We can by writing we... a short story. Uh, Sorry. Oh. No, we can, we should, uh, yeah. Use by. Oh, okay. The topic from today then by writing a short story. 
okay. So we need to use by and gerund here, okay. Okay, good. I'll send you the, um, as soon as I finish this meeting, uh, the next meeting from which I'm late already for, I'll send you the answers um, to these exercises, okay? I'll have to check these two, the, the rewriting, right? Yes. It's just rewriting always a problem because of a period or a punctuation or form in the way you write things. I got it, guys. Sorry for the inconveniences, but don't worry. I'll fix that as soon as I finish this class, okay? Okay. Have Thank to go. You. Bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night.